What's up guys, welcome to East West Beats and today we're going to talk about chords and in particular we're going to talk about chords that are used in Future House and Future Bass. So let me actually play the production that we're going to look at and then we'll go through a little bit of a tutorial. So let's hear it out. All right, so what you're hearing is um, a lot of keys and pads, and they're actually being triggered through a chord trigger right here. So I have this particular preset in Massive, uh, but what I also have is a chord trigger, and every time I press either C, D, E, or F, it's triggering a chord. So for example, you can see that it's triggering different chords every time I press any of those keys right here. So let's actually go and recreate something like that. So uh, the C key here is actually playing C major 7 add 9. And then we have F, mi F major 7. And then A minor 7. And then an A minor. So in order to do that, again, you can use any plugin. For the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use a Logic Piano. And we're going to add a chord trigger. Um, let's go to the multi mode and let's have it learn some things. So I'm going to click the C here and I'm gonna have it play C major 7 now you can just click in the notes you want it to play every time you press the key so that's C major 7 and I'm gonna add 9 and then we're gonna to go to the next one we want it to play an F major 7 for the next one we want it to play a minor 7 and then for the next one we just want it to play a minor perfect so now those are triggered. So now every time I press a C on my keyboard, it's going to trigger the whole chord. So you can see it's pretty simple to actually play those patterns like... And you actually don't have to play much at all after you program that. So now what you can do is, let's say I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to ESS, um, ESS2 Stereo. Now again, these presets are gonna stay, so I can go into something like a synth pad, and let's go to a glass pad. Now, another cool thing here is, let's say this, this is too low. What you can do here is you can just bump this up 12 semitones right here into chord, and actually the octave will go up. So as you can see, now you basically have all the chords you need for the track and you can go in and play with the effects. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you want me to upload this chord trigger, just leave a comment or leave your email address below and I'll, I'll be happy to send this over to you. Uh, until next time and make sure you don't forget to share, subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys.